Well, my next guest is known on social media as the Food Babe, and she's dedicated her life to making America healthy again. Last week, she brought the fight to Washington, D.C. in a panel for lawmakers, and what she shared might surprise you. In the U.S., there's 11 ingredients. In the U.K., there's three, and salt is optional. An ingredient called dimethylpolysiloxane is an ingredient preserved with formaldehyde, a neurotoxin, in the U.S. version. This is used as a foaming agent so they don't have to replace the oil that often, making McDonald's more money here in the United States. This is Skittles. Notice the long list of ingredient differences. 10 artificial dyes in the U.S. version and titanium dioxide. This ingredient is banned in Europe because it can cause DNA damage. Artificial dyes are made from petroleum and products containing these dyes require a warning label in Europe that states it may cause adverse and effects on activity and, and detention in children. And they have been linked to cancer and disruptions in the immune system. This on the screen back here is Gatorade. In the US, they use red 40 and caramel color. In Germany, they don't. They use carrot and sweet potatoes to color their Gatorade. Wow, 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 wow. So friends, how can you get poisonous food additives out of your life? Joining me now is founder of foodbabe.com, Vonnie Hari. Vonnie, thank you so much for joining me this evening. I gotta say, I've been a following you on social media. My wife has as well. She probably started that journey probably over 10 at least years ago. I uh, really appreciate your stance in trying to bring this information to the American public. Let me ask you, what got you started down this journey of being aware of what's in our ingredients and in our food and trying to inform the public? Well, I grew up with two immigrant Indian parents. And when my dad came here to the United States and brought my mom over here on, it, on their honeymoon, he said to my mom, if we're going to live in America, we're going to eat like Americans. And he introduced her to a McDonald's hamburger. And that was the start of my mom relying on processed foods to feed me and my brother. And as a result, I was so sick as a child. I was on nine prescription drugs, had two surgeries by my early 20s, and eventually hit rock bottom. I was overweight. I felt sick. I was depressed. And I decided to take health into my own hands and started to research what had been done to my food, what are the types of foods I had been eating. And I found out that the majority of foods that I thought were healthy were actually full of additives and chemicals, chemicals that had been invented in the last 60 years to improve the bottom line of the food industry, but not improve my health. And when I decided to remove all those chemicals, the synthetic pesticides, the preservatives, all of the additives, my body changed dramatically. I went off every single prescription drug, was able to maintain wow. a weight without dieting ever again. And it's been 20 years since, and it's been amazing because I now live a life that I never thought was possible. Wow, that I think uh, hopefully speaks volumes to a lot of people out there. Americans are sick, and if what you're sharing uh, doesn't shine a bright flashing red light on that, it's, it's what we eat. I know RFK Jr. has been championing that. Uh, you guys are connected, he's championing you. We had Max on last week to talk about it. He said, Max pointed out that the lack of engagement from one political party has been pretty uh, deafening and, and, and eye-opening to him. The Democrats just don't seem to care about any of this stuff. Are you experiencing that same type of bias as well? It's, it's really shocking to me, I have to tell you, because health is a nonpartisan issue. Cancer does not know whether you're Democrat or Republican. This is something that should unite us, especially the fact that American companies are using banned and heavily regulated chemicals in products here in the United States, but are not using it in other countries. They're serving the exact same product here in the United States, but with more toxic chemicals. One ingredient list over there and another one here. And this runs the gamut from just about every major American food company. One particular company that I'm targeting right now is Kellogg's because they're targeting little children. In 2015, they said that they would remove artificial dyes from their cereals, but they never did. They lied about it. It's been almost a decade. And instead, they keep inventing new cereals to target the modern children of the day using the most popular toddler songs and popular movies out there to create things like Elf on the Shelf cereal and Little Mermaid. And so they right now are using, if you look at a Canadian box, I actually have it right here, a Canadian box 
of Fruit Loops right here, they're using things like carrot and watermelon juice. And here in the United States, they're using four different artificial dyes and the preservative BHT, which is an endocrine disrupting chemical linked to cancer. So this is something that we want to change. We believe that American companies should serve their own citizens the safer version as well. And we're demanding Kellogg's do this. Right now, we have over 150,000 signatures on a petition on foodbabe.com. You can go and sign it and join the forces. We're going to be going to Kellogg's headquarters and having one of the biggest massive grassroots movement right on the steps of their front door, demanding that they make these changes. That's going to be on October 15th. I hope you join me. Come with me, David. All right. If I can get there, I will. I know that October is a big month, but I'll definitely help support it. Let me ask you this. Do you think that if, if Kamala Harris and Tim Wallace get in the Oval Office, do you think that you'll have any momentum or any shot from the White House of helping you try to get rid of these very poisonous, toxic chemicals in so many of these American manufacturing giants? Well, one thing that I did uh, at the Senate uh, roundtable last Monday was I invited both presidential candidates to come to Battle Creek, Michigan with me. So it'll be really telling to see who shows up. It'll be really great to see if they could support this as well. You know, there has been, you know, on, on both sides of the aisle, this really should be an issue that we all come together because Americans are sicker than ever, and largely it's because of the chemicals in our food. And these American companies already make better formulations overseas. It's not like we're asking them to reinvent the wheel. We're asking them to say, sell us the same safer versions. The FDA is asleep. Uh, they've been asleep for a really long time. They're not capable of regulating the chemicals in our food. Back in 1958, there was 800 food chemicals approved for use. Now there's over 10,000, many of which have never even crossed the desks of people at the FDA. So it's just the wild, wild west in America. In Europe, there's only 400 additives approved. Wow. Wow. If that's not telling... So on the flip side, let me ask you, if President Donald J. Trump was to retake the White House and the Oval Office with RFK Jr. on his side, wanting to make America healthy again, and I know your connection to RFK, he really appreciates all that you're doing, how confident are you that you'd have some extra added support to help get these additives out of these companies uh, and out of our foods so we're not eating them and our children aren't eating them if President Trump was to retake the White House? Well, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., his track record speaks for itself. I know he could get the job done. And, you know, he said during the Senate roundtable that if this type of policy were to happen where another country was doing this to us, it would be an act of war. That's how serious that we need to take this because this is a war on our health. Yeah, it absolutely is a war on our health. And last uh, 20 seconds, Vani, tell people where they can find you, follow you and support you. Yeah, come on over to foodbabe.com, sign the Kellogg's petition, join me on the ground with your boots on because we're going to be marching to Kellogg's headquarters in Battle Creek, Michigan on October 15th. All right, you heard it here. And my, my bride, Jennifer, says to say hi to you. Huge fan, love Hi, Jennifer. You. She's had me eating organic for probably 20 plus years. So uh, it's been a blessing. You've been a big part of that journey. So thank you, Van. That's amazing. Thank Appreciate you. you. Thank you. Thank you.